So we got to see the beginning of the Jordan Love era in Green Bay. Now this was his second start of his NFL career and his first start as the full-time guy in Green Bay. And overall, I thought that he definitely had some growing pains, but he also had a couple of really fun highlight reel plays. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the film. So we're going to start off with this one. It's going to be the first third down play for the Green Bay Packers offense here. Third down and 13 from the Chicago 43. And Matt LaFleur is just going to scheme up an easy completion here for his quarterback to hopefully move the chains. So it's going to be a too high safety look here for the Chicago Bears. Tremaine Edmonds appears to be sinking back a little bit. So this appears to be a Tampa 2 look here for the Chicago Bears. They're going to be running a pair of slant, a pair of slant routes here. So... This one to Romeo Dobbs, and then this one right here to, I believe that's Jaden Reed. And then they've just got a little shallow here underneath from the tight end, Luke Musgrave. So what you're reading here, if you're Jordan Love, is the alignment of the defenders. He's going to have zone coverage here. So what he's going to be looking at is the off coverage right here on this corner. He's going to be playing the underneath zone right here. Obviously, these two safeties are sinking in this cover two look right here. And then right here, you're kind of thinking that Kyler Gordon is going to be playing Jaden Reed right here, even though he's kind of indicating blitz pre-snap. So what you're hoping here is that this inside slant will influence Kyler Gordon, and that'll allow Jordan Love to rip this slant open against off coverage here from this other DB. So if we go ahead and roll it here. you'll see that it's working out pretty well. You kind of have Kyler Gordon flat-footed at this point. He's definitely going to commit to this inside slant right here. And on the other side, things are working out pretty well. There's easily several yards of space in between Romeo Dobbs and this DB right here. So that's going to give Jordan Love enough time after Kyler Gordon commits to the inside safety to just rip it for an easy completion of Romeo Dobbs right there. It's great protection, first off, from the Green Bay Packers offensive line. Jordan Love has all day to throw it and just rips an absolute seed in there. And Dobbs is able to dive forward right at the line to gain to pick up a first down. So a great play call there by Matt LaFleur to get an easy completion for your young quarterback and build his confidence up. And a great job by Jordan Love executing and making an on-time throw to move the chains for a first down. This one here is going to be Jordan Love's first touchdown as the Green Bay Packers full-time starter. So pre-snap, he's going to get a little bit of a tell if it's man or zone coverage. You see, they motion Jaden Reed right there, and the pack and the Bears don't bring anybody to follow him. That's an indication that it's going to be zone coverage. And since the Bears like to use a lot of too high coverages, that tells Jordan Love that more likely than not, he's going to get some sort of cover two zone in this situation. So he's got Romeo Dobbs right here. He's going to be running an in breaking route in the back of the end zone right here. And he's going to be matched up here against this corner, but eventually the corner is going to pass things off to the safety Eddie Jackson, who's responsible for the deep half of the end zone right here. And Eddie is going to make a mistake on this play. Jordan Love takes the snap once again. That is just fantastic protection. You see right there, Romeo Dobbs gets passed off to Eddie Jackson, but right there, Tremaine Edmonds, who Eddie Jackson thinks is going to be helping him out to the inside right here, he is occupied by this underneath route. So Edmonds is unable to help deep into the end zone right here, and Eddie Jackson seems to be unaware of that. I don't know if it was a miscommunication or what happened. Jackson has leverage here where if Romeo Dobbs were to break inside, he's got his rear end to him, and that would be a bad situation. You see that Dobbs does indeed put his cleat into the ground and breaks inside and crosses face with Eddie Jackson, which in a too high look should never happen. Jackson needs to keep his butt to the other side here in order to prevent Romeo Dobbs from being able to cross inside. You'd much rather get beat to the outside here on the corner route, which Romeo Dobbs does sell, because then this guy could sink and potentially make the play on the ball. But right here, man, Eddie Jackson just makes a big mistake and gives up, and gives up a touchdown. Great job by Jordan Love there finding it. He steps up in the pocket and delivers 
an absolute strike to Romeo Dobbs for his first touchdown as the Green Bay Packers starting quarterback. Really, really nice right there. A beautiful throw from Jordan Love and a great job there seeing the mistake made by Eddie Jackson. That's a great job. So this is going to be the first real mistake and learning opportunity for Jordan Love in this game. It's going to be one of the few times where the Chicago Bears play with a single high safety man coverage across the board right here. And he's going to have Jaden Reed just running a little out route from the slot out to the 40 yard line right here. He's going to be going against Kyler Gordon. And when Jordan Love takes the snap, everything works out pretty well on this play here. But he just delivers a poor ball. You see right there, Gordon doesn't have very good leverage there. You can see that he can break in. As you can see right there, Reed makes a nice cut to the outside. Now, Jordan Love needs to put this ball a little bit farther out towards the sideline and lead Jaden Reed out here to go out and catch the ball and toe tap out of bounds along the sideline or at least get closer to the sideline and then turn up field and gain some extra yardage. That's how you're hoping Jordan Love will deliver this ball, but unfortunately he's going to deliver it a little bit short of where it needs to be. He underthrows it and Reed kind of has to come back for it and, and he ends up dropping it. Now, sure, Reed definitely needs to make that catch in order to move the chains, but at the same time, Jordan Love needs to give him a better ball in that situation in order for Jaden Reed to make a cleaner, easier catch. You see Gordon is then able to drive in, and that affects things. So at the end of the day, you need, Kyle, you need Jordan Love to be able to deliver a much better ball along the sideline so that Reed can toe-tap inbounds, and Gordon can't make a play on the ball. So that is a big mistake right there from Jordan Love and his first big learning opportunity in this game. You know that the Packers told him in the film room that he needs to give a better ball in that situation. So on this one here, it's going to be man coverage for the Chicago Bears. The Green Bay Packers have a three wide receiver set in a bunch formation at the bottom of the screen. They're going to send Luke Musgrave here on a post route. They've got this guy here just on a little underneath route. He's going to sit down. And then right here, they've got Samori Toure matched up against this corner right here, who's going to be running an in-breaking route, a little dig route right here. Now, what I want you guys to watch is Toure's route on this one because this is just absolutely fantastic. See, Jordan Love takes the snap right there. Once again, protection is just absolutely immaculate. But with Toure, watch him right here. He's going to sell as if he's running a vertical route. And you see right there that 29 opens up his hips and is going to basically go into trail technique as if Toure was going to run vertical because he does not want Toure to beat him with his elite deep vertical speed, which Toure definitely has. But then you see Toure almost slam on the brakes right there and then break inside and look at the separation that he generates. 29, there is like two full yards of separation between them, maybe even more than that, more like three or four, and then it gets even wider than that. Jordan Love delivers an absolute strike, and Toure lowers his shoulder and gets some yards after catch right there. That is just a really great job by Samori Toure, selling the vertical on that route and then bending inside, and then a great job by Jordan Love right there, ripping a dot for a first down. That is just fantastic ball all the way around. Great execution by the Green Bay Packers. That's fantastic. But then, unfortunately, on the very next play here, we're going to miss a big play opportunity. We've got a deep post out of a pistol formation. We've got a really heavy formation here. So the Bears are thinking run. You can see they've got multiple guys in the box. We've got Samore Toure here just running this deep post route. And try to fit it in between these two defenders right here. That is the goal. The Bears like to play a lot of too high coverage and posts are a way to attack too high coverage. That's what the Packers are expecting here. We go ahead and roll it. We got the hard play action there. Jordan with the deep drop back. You see right there, Toure sells as if he's going to be ripping the corner. 
That causes the safety right there to take bad leverage. He rips it to the inside. We get the look that we want. He stacks it vertically. And Jordan Love just sails the ball over his head. A really just rough and unfortunate miss right there for the Green Bay Packers. Let's go ahead and watch it from the tight. We get the look that we want. Got the hard play action. Linebackers bite. Rip it up the field, but we just overshoot it, man. That's a tough miss right there if you're Jordan Love because we've got a touchdown right there if he just gives a better ball. Eddie Jackson gets burnt in coverage, but Jordan Love just overthrows him, man. That's a really, really rough miss right there from Love and one that he definitely wants back for sure. This is one where the Bears are going to try to disguise their coverage a little bit pre-snap. You can see right there showing two high safeties. But in reality, Eddie Jackson's going to sink down here. Jaquan Brisker's going to play the other half. And then this guy is going to sink right here to play the other deep half. So it's going to be too deep. And then zone coverage underneath here for the Chicago Bears. And what's going to happen here, they've got Jaden Reed going in a little short motion. And then he's going to be running a deep over route. And then they've just got a little post route behind it right here. Now... With Jordan Love, he's going to want to hit the deep over on this one, but he knows he's going to have to wait a moment because he does have Tremaine Edmonds right here lurking underneath in coverage. And the last thing you want is for Edmonds to pick off that ball. That would be a very bad look to throw a pick to a linebacker, but a great job right here from Jordan Love. Once again, just fantastic protection from the Packers offensive line. He's got all day, and you can see right there, Edmonds not really paying too much attention to Reed on the backside. He's playing his own zone right there. So he gets a little flat footed, breaks inside. And that's when Love waits and delivers a perfect throw to Jaden Reed right there who comes open underneath. Great job right there waiting for him to clear Edmonds and get to that second window. Great job right there, right there from Jordan Love just hanging in the pocket. And then Reed gets some excellent yards after catch as well. That's a great job and a great read from Jordan Love on that play. That is absolutely fantastic. Hangs in and delivers a strike. Love it. No pun intended. So on this one, looks like we got quarters coverage here for the Bears. So these four guys play in. Deep force of the field. And then right here, what the Packers are going to do, they're going to run a little sit route right here underneath with Luke Musgrave to try to get this guy right here to commit to it. And then they're just going to run a little in-breaker route on the inside right here. Try to get it in between these two defenders right here. That's the goal for Green Bay. Jordan Love, we get the look that we want on this play. Unfortunately... We got to give him a better ball than that, man. Jordan Love just absolutely sails that one. This is wide open. Put it on him. That's an easy pitch and catch for a first down. Instead, we sail it. And quite frankly, kind of lucky right there that this defender isn't in a better position to break in and intercept it. So a pretty bad throw right there from Jordan Love and one that he's definitely going to look at the tape and want back. On the very next play, it's going to be third down and 12 for Green Bay, and the Bears are just going to be running some cover two sink. Both of these guys are going to be playing deep half. Two zone underneath, but it's going to be deep two zone, so cover two sink. It's going to leave a lot of wide open space here for Jordan Love to actually run this ball and pick up a few yards. Best case scenario, you try to get in field goal range for your rookie kicker, Anders Carlson. But as you can see here, once Jordan Love takes the snap, you see a little short motion from Jaden Reed. You got some space right there to run this, but at the same time, that looks like either Josh Myers or possibly Elton Jenkins, I can't tell which one, is getting beat right there from this defensive lineman. But Jordan Love knows that if he can beat that defensive lineman, he's probably got a good few yards he can pick up. And right there, Jordan Love just makes this defensive lineman look silly for the Bears. I think he gave him a little stiff arm too. And he's just stumbling right there, the D-lineman is. And then Jordan Love puts his body on the line and lowers his shoulder. He does set up a fourth down and three on this situation here. And the Bears are... 
He does set up a fourth down and three in this situation, and the Packers are going to indeed go for it. So a great job right there for Jordan Love setting up that fourth down and short, making things more manageable. Obviously, the Packers were thinking field goal in that situation, but Jordan Love is thinking even better things. So on this one right here, it's going to be fourth down and three. Bears are going to be in man coverage. You got Aaron Jones, who's going to be matched up on the linebacker right here. Jones is going to be running an option route. So if the linebacker overcommits to the flats, then Jones can break to the inside. If he commits to the inside, Jones can break outside. So we go ahead and roll it right here. You'll see that Aaron Jones at first sells as if he's going to the flat. So the linebacker crashes in. So he's just going to break inside right there. And that's just too easy at that point. It turns into a foot race, and Aaron Jones is gone. A great play that play call there by the Packers on fourth down. Good job by Jordan Love seeing it, putting it right on Aaron Jones. They were on the same page there on that option route, and he takes it home. And that is another touchdown on the board for Jordan Love, his second of the day. So on this one, we've got a shot play dialed up for the Packers, and it's going to be a bust in coverage all the way. So it's going to be a fake handoff here for Jordan Love. We've got a post route right here, and then Luke Musgrave, the tight end, he's going to fake as if he's just blocking or running a crosser, and then he's going to leak out over here. So the hope is that the linebackers will bite on the play action, and Musgrave will come wide open, streaking down the sideline right here. So we go ahead and roll it here. What's going to be kind of funny here is Jordan Love sends a guy in motion right there. He drops the ball, but has the wherewithal to stay on it and not panic. Great job there. That is not how Green Bay envisioned that play fake to work out. But what happens here, you see this defender overcommit on this post route. And this guy, I don't know what 39 is doing on this one. He just gets completely lost, way overcommits on playing the run. And... Look at this. Luke Musgrave's lost, completely lost. Nobody's covering him. And Jordan Love retreats back, sees it, and just hits his back foot and floats one up there. Now, Musgrave, I don't know why he backpedals there. I think he kind of makes it a little bit harder on himself. If he just keeps accelerating, I think he catches that and then walks into the end zone. But instead, he backpedals and the turf monster gets him and he's down inside the five yard line. So that should have been a walk in touchdown right there for Jordan Love's third one of the game. But instead, Luke Musgrave stumbles inside the five. But on the very next play, the Green Bay Packers are able to make up for it and cash in with... This play right here, we just got a goal line fade, one on one, Romeo Dobbs in the end zone. Jordan Love, little five-step drop, hits it, puts it high only where Dobbs can get it. Great catch right there by Dobbs on the goal line fade. And that is Jordan Love's third touchdown of the game. All right, so that's all I got for you guys. It was a very fun game from Jordan Love in his first game as the guy, the second start of his NFL career. And he definitely looked a lot more improved from his first start in 2021 against the Kansas City Chiefs. It's going to be really interesting to see how he continues to grow and develop throughout the year. There were plenty of points on tape where he can say, all right, I can learn from this. I can do better on this. I can do better on that and so on. So I'm really interested to see the growth from Jordan Love from week one to week 17. All right, guys, what letter grade would you give Jordan Love for this performance? I would definitely give him like a B plus considering it was his second start of his career and his first start as the full-time guy in Green Bay. But I'm curious about your thoughts. Drop those comments down below. I would love to hear them as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are two free and easy ways to show your support. Helps tell YouTube to push us out. Helps us get seen by more and more NFL fans just like you and me. And until next time, guys, I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.